It's as old as farming itself, and the technique has barely changed. It's only the technology that's evolved. The 57th New Zealand Ploughing Championships were held over the weekend, competitors going plough to plough in conventional, reversible, vintage and horse ploughing. 35 ploughmen are competing in these national championships, held over two days here in Cambridge. They've been selected from 23 qualifying events held around the country over the last 12 months. The winners here will go on to represent New Zealand and Canada next year. Event organiser John Guy was one of the hopefuls this year to win the conventional plough. Have you won it before? No, no, I haven't had that luck yet. And how are you feeling? Confident? Yeah, I've had a good start yesterday. I'm, I'm quite happy. Midday saw the only drama when a plough hit a water main, and John was still optimistic. So, John, how's it, how's it going so far? Yeah, no, I'm very pleased again today. Good split opening today, so uh, everybody reckons that's one of the better ones today, so that puts me in good stead. If I can keep it going, I'll be right. But at the end of the event, it appeared a full day's ploughing had taken its toll. So, John, it uh, looks like uh, it's been pretty hard yakka out there today. It has been very hard out there today. It's uh, very trying. The soil's been very trying. And you've had to keep your wits about you and keep concentration all day long. The purpose of ploughing is to turn over the top layer of soil burying the grass and causing the soil to aerate. Competitors are judged on how clean and straight their lines are and how much grass is showing. Previous New Zealand world champions think the past generation of ploughers may have been the better breed. One of the interesting things Ian just mentioned was, was learn to, to drive straight and, and that's one of our aspects that is missing these days, that they're not as straight as what we could do. And they do in the world, you know, they're just the top guys in the world are very, very straight. But it was 25-year-old Murray Redmond of Methven who won both the coveted conventional plough and the most points for someone under 35 years of age. He, along with Malcolm Taylor of Putaruru, who won the reversible plough, will represent New Zealand in the World Champs next year in Canada. Redmond will be hoping to emulate his father, Bruce Redmond, who was world champion in 2010. Father and son team Peter and Jason Robson of Southland won the horse plough and Paul Horton of Hamilton won the vintage plough. New Zealand has produced three world champions since we started competing internationally in 1955. John Watson, Country 99 TV News.